Welcome back into Sunday Extra, everybody. I am Matt Dowell, and we've got a very special moment now because the best tennis players in the world are competing at the French Open in Paris, and we're joined now by tennis legend, two-time U.S. Open champion, Tracy Austin, who is in Paris right now. Tracy, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. It's terrific to be in Paris. Wonderful weather, wonderful competition. Now, Tracy, when it comes to this tournament, we'll start with the guys. Obviously, all attention on the big three, Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, and Rafael Nadal. The question everybody wants to know is, can anybody take down Rafa this year, a guy who's won it, oh, just 11 times? Oh, just 11 times. Yeah, it's really an incredible number. He is the king of clay. I don't think he's as clear of a favorite this year as he has been other years. Usually Rafa wins, oh, two, three, four different titles on clay before coming into Roland Garros. This year, just one title. And Novak Djokovic has really announced himself in, in the last nine months. He's won the last three majors in a row. He's number one in the world. He pushed Rafa to three sets in the last final in Rome. I think that Novak definitely has to be part of the conversation as a possible winner here. Uh, Roger Federer, it's great to have Roger back. He missed three French Opens. He's 37 years old, and he has played really clean tennis. It hasn't been physically taxing, so put him in the conversation also. Now, Tracy, when you speak of Roger Federer, of course, he won that one French Open 10 years ago in 2009. Like you said, he hasn't played the French Open in a few years. So what's considered a success at this tournament? Is it a quarterfinal, semifinal finish, or is just for Federer, a guy who's won 20 majors, is success just simply winning it? Yeah, that's a really interesting question for a guy who's won so much. Is getting the quarters great for him? Uh, he would not play somebody... Uh, a top 50 player until the quarterfinals where probably if the seeds were hold, it would be Tsitsipas, who Tsitsipas is a young Greek player, 20 years old, now into the top 10, loves to play on this surface. So only, only Roger can answer that. I think most people feel like for Roger to be a success, it's got to be at least a semifinals, possibly a final. I wouldn't think that Roger could win the title at, at 37 and, and probably on his least favorite surface. But we sure are excited in the tennis world that Roger is back here playing. And another superstar who made their comeback almost a year ago, Tracy, was Serena Williams, the American star that everybody knows. Now, she didn't have a lot of play going into this French Open, but she says that she's there, so she's there to win it. She looked a little rusty in the first round. Second round, though, much better. What are the chances that Serena wins that coveted 24th major title? Yeah, I think you're spot on. Uh, she's only played four tournaments coming into the French Open all year long. And the last three of them, she had to withdraw or retire mid-tournament. So very few matches. I think with each match that Serena plays, she gets better. And so often in Serena's career where she's won 23 majors, we've seen her work her way through a major. She's played so much tennis. She's had so much success. She knows how to win the seven matches over the two weeks. So I trust that with Serena, that she'll get better with each match. And when it comes to these great champions, Tracy, like Federer, Serena, Rafa, even if they haven't played a lot, how much is that confidence in knowing they've done it time and time again crucial to them winning it all? Well, it's very important because you have the knowledge, you have the know-how of how to navigate through those seven matches. You have every other day off. Um, how much to practice, maybe to back off if you've had a tough match the day before. They have confidence that they've done it before. It's the players that have never done it that really never know, am I ever going to be, be able to do this in their career? Now, that being said, on the women's side, it is completely wide open. I think there are more than a handful of players that can take this title. There have already been a, a number of upsets, and there's so many young players that are coming up and starting to make a statement. It's very exciting. That's a good segue, Tracy, because my next question was about the youngsters. You obviously have Naomi Osaka, the 21-year-old, who's now the new face of women's tennis. you got the young girls, Amanda Anisimova, Coco Goff, who's making her way through the juniors. On the men's yeah. side, we have Francis Tiafo. So what are the chances that we see one of these young players break through soon? Anna Samova actually has a very good draw. She's a, a young player from Florida. She's just 17 years old. You know your stuff, by the way. Very impressed. And she will not play a seed until the quarterfinals. Her, her portion of the draw was where Kvitova was, and Kvitova had to pull out with an arm injury. Anna Samova is, I think, somebody that's going to be a huge star in the future. I actually think that she will make it to the quarters. She's very polished with the way that she speaks, the way that she handles herself, a very mature game already. 
I think Madison Keys is someone that nobody's really talking about. She has a good chance. Sloane Stevens got to the finals here last year. She loves this surface. So on the women's side, the Americans are looking good. Unfortunately, there are no American men still left in the draw. Unfortunately, we did see Francis Tiafo make that great run in Australia. He already lost in the first round. My last question for you, Tracy, since you are over there in Paris, it looks so great. So many fans, even, if, even the casual tennis fans, always want to go to a major. So what makes Paris, the French Open, so different from the other three? Wow, that's really interesting. I just think it's the, the atmosphere. I think it's the beauty. You're right in the middle of Paris, a gorgeous time of the year. You know, right now it's closing in on 8 o'clock right now, and, and it still feels about 75 degrees. The fans behind me are booing because they can't get in. That particular arena is completely full for a very important match. They're very knowledgeable fans. It's easy to get to the French Open, easy to navigate between all the different courts. So it really is a very special experience. Well, I'll have to make it out there one day. It looks like a good time. Thank you, Tracy, for joining us as always, and enjoy the rest of your time in Paris. Thanks so much. You can watch the French Open on Tennis Channel beginning at 5 a.m. every single day of the week as they have all of the action there from Paris. Coming up here on Sports Extra, we'll hear from another female athletic legend, Julie Foudy, of that famous 1999 Women's World Cup team, will join us to discuss the Women's World Cup that starts later this week. That's coming up here on Sports Zone Extra.